just looking for a positive response from the players, and I think um, you know both sides of the ball. I thought we saw that even. We saw the intent from the first minute of the game. So, yeah, we spoke about it before. We had a little bit of a meeting as a group and uh, we used the words that we put down collectively. I think we spoke about that at the end of last week. And, you know, I thought that was definitely uh, reflective in the performance, what the players wanted to do and wanted to achieve. And, you know, the big thing for all of us was the response was, was a positive one and we were pleased with that. No, look, I think we're all very optimistic about Ryan Saylor's future and uh, it was good to finally get him his debut and he get on with the Inter Miami shirt on and on the field and I thought he, he performed well. A couple of moments that, um, you know, where, he, you know, his footwear wasn't the, the same as what he, he had been, been using on the turf. He had a little slip, but other than that, I thought very, very good performance, very positive. You know, he took leadership as well, which I think is uh, sometimes difficult in your first game to go in and, and be commanding, but he was certainly commanding. He had a good presence about him and uh, I think he's got a very bright future. Yeah, I think look, I think between the, the goalkeeping staff, if you like, or the goalkeepers union, um, they do a great job. You know, um, you know, Mark and Seba with the first team keepers and Chris Brackus with, with the second team keepers and, and the U17s and the academy. You know, I think it's a, it's a good group. We've got a good crop coming through. Um, I'm really pleased for Andre, you know, he's been waiting for that moment for a while, getting his first clean sheet there and uh, he trains hard every day and um, he took the most of his opportunity and we always talk about players getting opportunities, you never know when it's going to come and you never know when your next one's going to come. So, you know, for Andre to come in, perform um, very well, make a key crucial save, we're really pleased for him, but I think it's just a testament of all the goalkeepers in the club, supporting one another, pushing one another and um, being, being well coached by um, all the staff. Yeah, no, I think it's one of those you can't hide from it. So the one thing we said to the players, we were accountable for that result. And look, we can we can put excuses wherever you want to put excuses, but we work in solutions. So we're not going to put any excuses forward. We want to find the solution. So we went proactive with it. We dissected the game a little bit and spoke about some of the goals where we felt were preventable and some of the other, you know, passages of play where we need to do better at. And, you know, we, we didn't hide from it. So we highlighted that and then we put it to bed. And now it's about focusing on Cincinnati. And we did that early in the week. And so that was, that was history. All we can do now is, is control the future and, uh, and focus on, on what we can do to um, get better and get ready for Cincinnati. And that's what we did. So we spoke about being successful on the road was kind of the theme of the day. And you know the, the guys collectively come up with different strategies um, from tactically where we've spoke about it. So everyone's on, on the same page. And then, um, you know, and then how we can prepare maybe a little bit better or what lessons did we learn from last week? And, um, you know, that's how we approached it. And so it was a proactive approach and one that we uh, felt paid dividends on Saturday. No, it's great because, you know, the, the, you know their memories are, are sure that they're on to the next thing. You know, it, they, I embrace doing that with players and I think the whole coaching staff does. We know that's part of our, um, you know, teaching these players to be pros. That's really where we're at. You know, they're, yes, they're in a professional league, but they, you know, most of the young players need to be taught how to be a professional player. You know, they, they, they've been taught soccer really well and they come up with a good soccer education from within the academy. Now it's that next phase of getting ready for the MLS. So it's teaching them how to be pros um, and that's what we spend our time doing. And, uh, you know, in everything that we do, and the one thing we talk about is standards and making sure we have high standards in everything that we do, whether it's on any practice activity, when it's in the gym, um, anything that we do, we want high standards from the players. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you want to prepare in, in your own comforts of your, your own house sometimes. So I think, you know, again, from our perspective, sometimes we'll train on turf before playing on turf, sometimes not. I just think it's getting the feel of knowing your group and understanding where your group is. And, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot to be said for making sure you're in your own familiar surroundings. Um, going, into, going into a game, you know, again, you know, we prepared well for, for New England last time and I expect we'll prepare well for New England this time. Obviously our focus is on uh, the second group and making sure that we're prepared for the game on Sunday. It depends on the, it depends on the turf, you know, I mean the turf we played on last week in Cincinnati, uh, we felt slowed us down a little bit. But my recollection from playing in Gillette last year was that's quite a quick turf. So, you know, that it, even some of the turf and maybe the climates factor into that and um, you know for us we like it when it's a little bit quicker as a MLS2 team for sure. No, I think look we, we know what the standings say but I think we're just focused on the process and uh, our process right now is is a weekly process because we haven't got that correct yet and um, so it's a, it's very important that we keep working on 
how we're going to prepare for games, whether it's home or away, what that looks like, how many days in between. So we're just focused on our own process to make sure we, we're prepared as best as we possibly can uh, for the players that will play on Sunday. I think it's excellent. I think it's a, a, you know, really, you know, from the coaching staff, we're very appreciative of the club allowing us to travel on Friday. You know, two weeks ago we, we had a kind of an extended travel, if you like, on both travel days. So to be on a, a charter flight with the first team uh, will be um, will, will be very good for us, and uh, it'll be a great experience and a new one for all of us. And I think we're just looking forward to, to seeing how you know some of the the older players. Um, prepare because I think they're good lessons for our young players to observe. I mean, I can't can't talk to you know to, to exactly the the details of that, but you know I think bottom line there's a lot of optimism in the building this week. You see more smiles. I think you know when when the teams win um, at the weekend. So for example, obviously both both teams winning this weekend, first and second team, you know, and then even the U17s um, on the verge of clinching a, a playoff spot in the academy division and the U15. So a lot of optimism around the building, and I think. You know, tomorrow's a big day, and I think you know everyone's very optimistic and uh, just looking forward to, you know, having a good decision.